one does truly enjoy the pleasures of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, hello there! My name is Emma Blois 10 and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Etiquette. I do hope you enjoy this little segment on my channel and I truly do hope that people will start applying these little etiquette lessons in Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Please enjoy! Okay guys, don't worry, I'm not going to act like that throughout the whole etiquette series or anything. That's just a little intro video I've decided to do for this wee segment. Anyway guys, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Etiquette Episode 1. And today's topic is going to be about greeting the opponent and ending the game. Now, these two little factors uh, in any Yu-Gi-Oh! match, duel or whatever are very key because they can actually determine how you might feel for the rest of the day. So... Anyway, let's just start, shall we? Now, when you greet the opponent, you know, always be positive, always be optimistic and everything. You know, start a polite conversation, do a little joke, give a friendly gesture or something, you know, and then you can get into the duel, concentrate on it and do your absolute best. Occasionally, you will come across somebody who doesn't respond as positively. Now, if that happens, what I, what I personally do is I let it slide. Just play the duel as normal, do you play your game as best you can, and regardless if you win or lose or whatever. Okay? You know, don't take too much offence if they don't respond to something that you said that's positive or upbeat or anything, you know. Because, you know, there are some people like that sometimes, but if they do say anything really offensive to whatever you've done or said, then obviously tell the judge about it. Which in turn leads me on to the end of the game. Now traditionally in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh when we finish a duel or finish a match whatever we traditionally shake hands or alternatively we can say good game. Now these are both widely accepted. Um, you will come across some people again who might not want to shake your hand. There's various reasons. Um, they could be angry at themselves that they messed up or did a mistake or lost or whatever. Uh, they might not be comfortable touching other people. Um, nothing suggests there this this has been known to happen. You know, there's various reasons why they might not shake. So saying good game is a very, very good alternative. Um, tradition, for me, traditionally, I shake both shake hands and say very good game. And, you know, that's just me anyway. Oh, but again, occasionally you will come across somebody who might outright refuse to shake your hand or might say something very offensive to you at the end of the game. If that does happen, tell the judge immediately because the sooner they know, the better and it means that that person can't ruin the rest of your day and they won't be able to ruin anybody else's day. And um, But if you offer your hand and they do refuse it, to shake it or if you said good game but they don't say anything back you know just walk away and leave it no, and you are safe in the knowledge that you are the one who has been respectful from beginning to end and therefore you can still continue to have a very good day regardless of where you're playing anyway guys that is Yugo Etiquette episode 1 I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye